But even though their relationship was under great strain, they certainly weren't showing it. I've come to a castle in Gloucestershire. It's a place that reminds us that for more than two years, they were happily married and still in love. The royal couple came here for 10 days in the summer of 1535, just a few months after the bloodshed at Charterhouse. Today, it's an upmarket hotel. Hello. Hello, welcome to Thornbury Castle. Thank you. Uh, my name's Lipscomb. I've got the keys to a unique hotel room. Now, it's pretty unusual to stay in any room that a king and queen have slept in, but one that Henry and Anne have stayed in is a rare and thrilling experience. <laughs> of course, it's hard enough to know what goes on behind closed doors in modern relationships, let alone at a distance of almost 500 years. But what we do know is what other people said about Henry and Anne. And what they said is that Henry and Anne were merry together. In fact, Henry and Anne were described as being merry together more than Henry and his other wives, including throughout the summer and autumn of 1535 when they were staying here. But the other thing we know about their relationship is that it was a relationship of sunshine and storms. They quarreled and they made up. They had fights and then they had ardent reunions. Henry and Anne were now two and a half years into their marriage, and as 1535 drew to a close, all seemed well in their world. <laughs> <laughs> 